Hello Aquarius, this is Deborah, and this is going to be your reading for mid-July 2020. Um, Aquarius, um, I hope everyone is well. Um, I'm going to get straight into this because I've literally just come out of meditation. Um, thinking very much about you guys. Um, Archangel Michael has been showing me a vision of an eagle, okay, and that's very you, air element, okay, seeing the bigger picture. There's something about you understanding the bigger picture, okay? Now, I know you're big picture thinkers anyway, but I'm really connecting with maybe one or two of you who are seeing things um, very differently. I'm connecting with somebody who's been struggling. Um, this has something to do with finances, okay? Um, and there's a deep sense of weariness, um, how long can I keep doing this for? How long do I have to be in the situation? Isn't there something that I can do to change my situation? Okay. So what do we do, Michael, Michael, what do we do? Weird. My heart is racing and I'm feeling very hot and cold. Somebody's very nervous here about making a big change. And I'm hearing, is the struggle worth it? Is the struggle really worth it? And someone's beginning to think differently. Michael's saying he wants me to go back into meditation. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so mm, bear with me, guys. Let's do this. So Archangel Michael, thank you for being with us. Thank you for protecting my energy. My guides are with me. Archangel Jophiel is with me. Archangel Sandalphon is with me. Michael, what image do you have, please, for my Aquarius? I'm seeing the name Marrakesh. Marrakesh. Okay, there's something about... Okay, he's taking me to the centre of Marrakesh. Wow. Um, a lot of riads. It's very hot and dusty. There are two girls who are... Opening up a wooden door a big arched wooden door off a very dusty, tiny, hot street. And they walk through and it opens out into an oasis. Into an oasis, there's a very big, bright turquoise blue swimming pool, white marble surround, lots of palm trees, butterflies, bright flowers, and they're just standing there blinking and thinking, oh my goodness, wow. Oh my goodness, Michael's showing me a clock, okay? Yeah, so sometime later, they're sitting by the pool, both have drinks in their hands. And one girl is saying to the other, why didn't we, <clears throat> and my throat's closing up, interesting. Someone may have trouble communicating their thoughts and feelings here. One girl is saying to the other girl, why didn't we stay here before? Why didn't we do this before? What were we thinking? What were we thinking of? And the other girl said, well, we booked into a very cheap guest house. It was a long, dusty bus ride. And then the taxi man overcharged us. We found the man in the guest house had stolen our money. We may as well, we may as well with all the financial outlay, have booked into this hotel, we would have actually have saved money. And it would have been a much more comfortable stay. And we've arrived in paradise. Okay. Michael's closing down the vision. Um, Aquarius. Now, I'm getting two very distinct messages. From a practical point of view, and do bear with me, guys, from a practical point of view, this could be something that is very simple. This could be somebody, for instance, who is trying to save on rent. They've moved right to the other side on the outskirts of a city. But by the time they've got through all the traffic, they've paid for parking or they've taken public transport, they're tired, they're weary, they've spent a lot of money on travel, they may, w may as well have rented an apartment bang in the city centre. No hassle, no stress, they don't have to pay for travel, but they would be able to have a much more comfortable life. Okay, Michael's actually now showing me a law court, um, a, a courthouse with 
pews and judge with a white wig. Okay, there's something, okay, Michael showed me a big red stop sign with a line through it. Somebody may be refusing to get out of a long-term situation because there's going to be a big financial outlay. But there's been struggle, there's been anxiety, there's been stress, and there's been a sense of why am I struggling in this? Why am I still here? Whoever this person is knows that there would be loss due to disconnection but this person has been really unhappy and is realizing that there may be an oasis a door open for them elsewhere but they would need to sacrifice something first to get to that oasis to that beautiful place mm, to that person okay michael to that person all right okay I'm feeling very, very, very tired, very heavy. And I woke up this morning absolutely fine. Um, someone here is going through making a very difficult decision. So Archangel Michael, um, please could we have your guidance for my Aquarians, mid-July 2020. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, guys. My throat's re really been playing up. I'll be doing um, a lot of chakra work. He's saying now, Deborah. Okay four more so aquarians um aquarians aquarius are you thinking of the big bigger picture now are you seeing something differently are you now understanding that you have that perfect place to go to that person you could be with and even though there's a sacrifice you're realizing after all of the problems and hassles and stress and maybe financial outlay you've already had, you're now rethinking changing your situation. Okay. Hmm. Yes, I think you've had a wake-up call. Look at that. Straight out with Leo and Pisces. Wow. Yeah, definitely no communication. You have been holding back. Or Aquarius, I have to say, you could have cheated on someone that you now realize may be your oasis, okay? Your happy place. And there's a sense of what do I do? Hmm. Strong Gemini. We also have Libra, Pisces, Cancer. Hmm, okay. You're seeing the bigger picture, Aquarius. But you either are deciding to try and work around a situation and not tell the whole truth to someone. I've got to be totally frank. Or you will end up making a decision. Because there's a lack of trust that someone has either in you, and do forgive me for saying that, or that you have for someone else. But something has to give. You, Michael's saying you cannot have your cake and eat it. You can't do it. And you are coming to the realisation of that because I think you've been putting off making a change. Mm. Under the deck, the devil, temptations, lust, desire, could be connected to a Capricorn. There's a sense of loss in your life. You could have let a soulmate connection go. Let's see where this takes us, okay? Mm. Interesting. Under that, we do have, with the two of wands in reverse, potentially... You standing at crossroads for quite a long time. This is you deciding to move down a new path and to drop a burden. Underneath that, we have victory and success. We have Leo. And maybe removing blocks to travel or 
realizing that there's no progress with the Cancerian. Okay, guys. Mm, very cryptic. <laughs> All right, Aquarius, I'm moving the camera. All right, guys, thank you for bearing with me. So let's move straight in. Aquarius, you feel as if you know what your happiness is, where it lies, how to achieve it. And you're thinking about it. This is you knowing that your happiness could be achieved. You know what this is. And you're thinking about the fact that you now don't have that happiness. Now, this could be a situation. This could be a person. And at this present time, there's no forward movement. There's no enlightenment. You're not in a happy place. Now, it could be because either a Pisces or a Leo has let you go, detached from the situation. Maybe because they knew that you were connected to someone else. They was like, I'm getting out of here, not doing this, not waiting for this person. This is also, though, potentially you waking up finally right bird's eye view remember the eagle why am i sitting in this place where i'm really not happy where i know that this is my happiness why am i still here why am i still sitting here thinking about this time is ticking when i know that i could have that happiness that i've been craving if i took action of some sort You were very much up in your head in the past, Aquarius, overthinking things, overanalyzing things. And I have to say, this could be you wondering, how can I get my happiness without going through the sacrifice? That's what I'm hearing. How can I get my happiness without going through the sacrifice? Again, a little bit of I want both scenarios, right? I don't want to have to move and make big changes and lose money, but I also want my happiness. And you realise very sadly, <clears throat> and again, I'm sorry, my throat's really closing up, that you can't have both. Or that you would need to make changes to have the ideal situation in your life. This is you, though, coming out of confusion, over analysis, deep thinking. Aquarius, you're an air sign. You're going to deep think about everything. But I think this has almost kept you trapped because you haven't been able to make a decision. This is clarity or this is you in the past just thinking, I don't even want to think about this anymore. I don't even want to have to analyse the situation. I'm just going to forget all about it. But you didn't. This little niggling energy came back into your mind. I know I could be happy. I know I could get out of this. And it just kept nudging you, almost irritated by it, unable to stop thinking about the fact that you could have your ideal situation, but it would mean sacrifice. In the immediate past, with the Eight of Cups in the reverse, you considered walking away from a situation and then you decided, no, I can't do it. I won't do it. It's going to be too difficult. It's going to be too challenging. I can't face it whatever that was for you, okay? What you're thinking about is either the fact that you lied to someone. Yeah, I've got to be honest. This is my air sign who's a bit of a player, okay? Knight of Swords in reverse. This might have been a situation you fell into, you didn't mean to, you fell in love, you didn't expect it. But this is what you're thinking of and this is your air sign energy. Now, you could also be thinking of an air sign who isn't faithful to you that you may be connected to, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is also you thinking very clearly about the fact that there's no communication between you and someone else. And because there's no communication or someone lied, there's no forward movement. OK, that's what you're thinking about. Yeah. We have the Five of Swords 
in your immediate future. Archangel Michael, when is that card coming into play, please? Thank you. End of August time. He's actually telling me the 12th of August to the end of September. 12th of August to the end of September, roughly, roughly. Um, five of Swords. Hmm. Aquarius. I have to say this is a little bit of my sneaking away from the problems card. This is my I want to get out of dodge. I'm not happy. I'm going to fight to get what I want. But it can be a little bit self-serving. It can be a little bit. I don't want to make the effort to completely sort a situation out. It's going to be too taxing. It's going to be too draining. So I'm just going to go and get what I want. I'm going to go and get my happiness without making the changes. Okay. Hmm. But you know, Aquarius, that if you fall down that rabbit hole, a lot of people are going to be hurt in the mix. Maybe the karmic partner, if that is relevant, that you are trying to detach from or don't want to be with. As well as the person that you may be fighting to be with. Because they may real well understand that you haven't changed your situation. They may know it intuitively whoever is in your environment is sitting in the energy of the lovers in the reverse now you could be thinking or connecting with a Gemini who wasn't honest with you or whoever you're connecting with Aquarius knows full well, either intuitively or as a fact, that you are still connected to someone else. So they are viewing you coming forward towards them as you just wanting to get into an affair with them. Maybe for the second time. They can see it. They know it. They may be well aware that you haven't changed your situation. Now this could be awkward Aquarius because you may be wanting to come forward towards this person to have a conversation about how you feel. But all they can see is, oh my God, the player has come back. Oh my God, right? Keep them at a distance. I'm so sorry Aquarius, but that is the energy I'm reading. Now guys, do remember, this can be totally the other way around. So, no comments please, <laughs> okay? I'm just the messenger. What is interesting is that in your fears is justice. You could be fearing having a conversation with a Libra, fearful of their reaction, fearful of what they're going to say and do. This could be a karmic partner's energy. You could also be fearful of going through a legal situation. But as justice is usually a legal contract, this would be breaking a legal contract. You are fearful of staying in a very unhappy place, maybe within a long-term partnership. You're afraid of it because I think you feel trapped. I think you feel unhappy in that situation. There's no progress. There's lies all over the place here, right? I mean, Knight of Swords in reverse, lies. Five of Swords, cheating, lies. Third party energy, the devil. This is not good. It could be, Aquarius, that this person turns you away. I'm sorry, but if you came to me to say, look, I still want to try and make this work. I am going to make the changes. They may let down their guard, lower their defences and talk to you about this to see if the two of you can come to some kind of plan. Okay, we want to be together. What is the first step that you need to do to be free to be with me so that we can move forward into this happiness? But the sad thing is, Aquarius, you're not behaving like that. You're not openly talking to this person this is a very ruthless, I'm just going to get what I want to get energy. I don't give a shit, right? I don't care if I hurt people in the process. I want to win. This is a little bit about ego. I want to win back the person that either walked away from me because I was in a connection with somebody else. Or I am determined 
to be successful in getting this person back into my life, irrespective of the fact that I may not be totally honest about my intentions, my situation. What you're hoping for with a high priestess in reverse is to see the reality of the situation. And I think you're hoping that the reality is, is that the person that walked away from you or you let go still has that connection with you, still feels that connection with you. It looks as if they do still feel that connection. Otherwise, they wouldn't have come through in this reading. But they also see you potentially still in the same energy as you were before in the past, which is, I have to say, covering things up, not being totally honest, potentially still connected to someone else. With a high priestess in reverse, you could also be hoping for communication, maybe from a Pisces or a Cancerian, after silence, maybe silence for quite a while. The outcome Aquarius could actually pertain to two different messages. The first is, I'm going to be blunt, you know I am, two of pentacles in reverse. You may hope to juggle someone with someone else. You may hope to get back into a third party situation. But secondly, as this can be trying to make a decision, this could be you actually making that decision. If you're turned away by the person that you are charging in to talk to, to see, I'm going to win, I want to get this person back, they were my happiness, that happiness is gone, I want them back. If they turn you away, understanding that you are still connected to someone else, you may decide to let this go. Understanding this person isn't kind of playing. Or you could make the decision to move forward towards someone else and take them as a third party. Maybe you have two options here, Aquarius. Wanting one person, but if that person turns you down, heading towards another person. They will take me back. They will, they will give me kind of what I want. Not the happiness that I really want, but it's enough. Or well, this is you deciding, okay, this person isn't playing. I have to take the reins of my life and make this change to actually do it. Clarification. Six of Cups, you have very happy memories of someone that you met in the past. This is you in your happy place. This is also you wanting to go back to a soulmate from the past. Someone you felt that deep soul connection with that maybe you didn't find with anyone else. But with a Ten of Swords in reverse, you don't really want to end the situation you're in. It's going to be too painful. It's going to be too difficult. You can't bear it. So you have been refusing to make that change. And so you have been keeping yourself trapped and stuck in a very toxic situation and you've let this soulmate go. So then we have you wanting to return. You're hoping to take charge of the situation with the energy of the Emperor. This could be an Aries. Either you have Aries in your chart or you could be connected to an Aries. But this is also the energy of a man who is married. This could be your energy. And with death in reverse, this is you still not wanting to close out a situation to transform your life to be happy. No, I refuse to do it. Not doing it. Now, this of course could be you though, taking the decision, making the decision to talk to whoever you're coming forward to in your environment, to talk to them about major change. This could be you wondering whether or not 
this person still has feelings for you. And if they do, maybe considering making that decision to make changes in your life to be with them. Clean connection. So, guys, I am going to go back into the deck. I'm going to see where this leads us, okay? Let's do some clarifying and see where we go. Archangel Michael, please could we clarify the two of pentacles in the reverse? Thank you. Any more energy, please, Michael? Okay, let's have a look. Now, Aquarius, I want to reiterate, guys, this could be totally the other way around. This could be somebody that you are dealing with, okay? All right, okay, Aquarius. I have a feeling I'm connecting with an Aquarius male here. I could be same sex, but we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Now, Aquarius... This is you talking to somebody about making a decision or wanting to juggle someone with somebody else. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, we have Aries and Leo shown strongly. This is a woman who is not wanting to be a mistress. This is a woman who is a bit angry and upset. Maybe, maybe angry and upset that you might have had the audacity to come back to this person with still no changes made in your situation. Same old situation, nothing's changed. You're trying your luck again. You may have arguments with this person, okay? They may say, why the hell have you come back to me when you're still connected to somebody else? I don't want to be your mistress, okay? Yeah. This is them understanding that you don't have any plans to build a solid platform with them. You're not really wanting to work on a long-term situation. This would just be third party, again. They may say to you, you know what, I don't trust you, I don't believe you, you deceived me before, you're lying, I don't want to see you again. There could be messages going backwards and forwards about this. This could be all online, it could be all text messages, or you could actually travel to see someone to talk this out. I think you're going to realise that you may have to drop this burden that you've been carrying wanting to be with the person that is your happiness but Aquarius you're having to drop the burden of trying to be with this person because they don't want to be an option they don't want to be the side woman the side check right they don't want it yeah sadly nine of wands in reverse I mean this is a very passionate energy Aquarius but this is someone who doesn't want to commit Someone who doesn't want to make that change. And the person that I'm feeling that you really feel will give you that happiness that you want is not playing. 
They're just not playing. With the Six of Wands, they may see, see you sitting in a little bit of ego, wearing a false mask, wanting this person back in your life because you miss the attention, the affection, the adulation. Or you could be turned away by a Leo. And that's because with the, eight, with the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, you weren't willing to make the changes that you needed to make, which could be separation from a partner, to be with them. You're not giving this person enough for it to be worth their while to take you back. You could be cut out quite harshly. This is just the energy of a woman who's very angry that you've had the audacity to come back and try your luck again. Aquarius, this is a very difficult reading. I would love it to be happily ever after. Interesting. Under the deck, we've got the King of Cups. The sad thing is, Aquarius, I really feel that male or female, you are in love with someone that you're not with, but you refuse to make the changes you need to make to make this a clean connection. Under that, Empress, you could decide to stay with a karmic partner who could be a Taurus or a Virgo. And the reason being is that with the Five of Pentacles, you don't want to lose the money. You want to keep the cash. You want to keep a stable connection, even though you know you're unhappy. Yeah. Nine of Cups. For me, this is third party. Someone here is wanting to keep a third party connection. Interesting. Under that is Leo in the reverse. Yeah, I'm feeling that you want to restart a fire with someone. We've got strong Leo here, but could be anyone. But they're not playing your game. Okay? They're not playing your game. And I think you could you will come to realise that you either have to take the ball by the horns and make the change or let this person just move on in their life to be with someone who is going to be offering them a proper relationship. Because I think this person has stood their ground with you or will stand their ground and that may be something you need to accept, okay? So it's been a really long reading, um, Aquarius. Um, thank you for being here. <laughs> I'm sorry for you guys that feel this is a bit depressing. Remember, this is only a reading for this period of time. Okay, guys, anything could happen in a few weeks, a few months. This is just the state of play at the moment. This could be you, Aquarius, doing some very deep thinking. Okay, I've been turned away a second time. This person is not having it. If I really want this person in my life, I do have to make that change. Do I feel I can do it? Up to you. All right, guys. Leaving it there, sending love and light your way. If this is your story, do reach out, debraclair.com, and I'll be back very soon with your next TGIF love reading. See you then, guys. Bye now.